old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. Everybody. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Even Gastein. Oh, when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Hey, I'm Piper. Welcome back to The First Journey. I'm going to begin this episode on the youth intake preview, which is potentially exciting. Maybe not at this level, and York's youth facilities aren't particularly great, so it probably won't be that great, but we'll have a look anyway. There's going to be a lot of wingers, two forwards who are considered to be fine prospects, one good English striker from Scunthorpe, I like how Scunthorpe is exotic to York. You know, usually if you've got a player from quite far away in a youth intake, it'll say like, we've got a fine prospect from Columbia. Scunthorpe is what is considered to be exotic for York. And we should be really optimistic about this group of players. However, no defensive midfielders, no wingbacks, no wide midfielders, and our attacking midfielders coming through are not good enough. So... We've got a really limited area of the pitch covered by our youth team, wingers and strikers. So I'm not hanging my hat on them being particularly good, but we've got quite a few things to catch up on this game, this episode. So move on to that now. So last episode was a sad one. We got destroyed, four 0 by Ipswich. Not really a shock, but disappointing. One fan wanted me fired, so they are probably delighted in the next game. We had a bit of a hangover, I think, from the destruction against Ipswich. 1-0 loss against Kidderminster. Very disappointing. We had a few chances. We hit the post. We missed a few one-on-ones, but we weren't clinical. And ultimately, they were at the end. I noticed in the next couple of games, we did start to concede late goals. I think as we move away from Pulis football, it hasn't quite given me the benefits I wished for. As such... Later on, after the Kettering game, I returned. I put the Tony Pulis cap back on, which... York City don't sell caps. So I'm having to wear a Dream State hat for now. I've not even taken the tag off it, if I'm honest. But Dream State and York, basically the same thing. Music and football, basically the same. But yeah, eventually I put the Tony Pulis hat back on. After the Kidderminster game, disappointing. We went on to face Hyde in the FA trophy second round Dyson, McGee and Redshaw with the goals my plan in this game was to give my team a rest if I'm honest I wanted to rest a lot on my best players unfortunately my young son Casper got injured two minutes into the game so thanks Hyde, son's crying so I had to bring on Red, not Redshaw, I had to bring on Duckworth so a lot of my best players didn't get a rest Cassidy got injured about 40 minutes into the game, so Redshaw played most of the game, so I didn't really get to give anyone a break. So that wasn't great, but we did win, which I guess is good. I I really don't care about the FA Trophy. I'll keep the board happy, I guess, and it'll give them a few extra pennies to spend on my you know excessive wage budget, but nah, don't really care. Next game against Chester. This game. I, sure, Newton, I was losing my poop in this game. I'm trying to avoid swearing, if you're wondering why I didn't say yes word there. Sure, Newton was terrible. Sure, Newton, Sean is a swear word, quite frankly, for me right now. Their right, their right winger was apparently a threat. I had him tightly marked. Sure, Newton was constantly, for a left back, he was just constantly defending narrow, which I didn't want him to do. He was just standing right next to the centre back having a chat about his tea or something. So they both of their goals, I think, were right wing crosses into the box. Sean Newton is 31 years old, one year left on his contract. He should be trying to impress me, because quite frankly, York is the last chance he has of playing, you know, league football with two promotions, if we can do that. But right now, he is heading the list of the names of players who I'm probably going to let go at the end of the season. But in the end, a 4-2 win. Again, we shut off towards the end of the game. But a much better attacking performance. A lot more clinical. That saw us through that game. And then we went back to our 
non-clinical ways against Keta and disappointing 1-1 draw. No one played particularly well this game, I don't think. I, I do want to talk about Emmanuel Adebayi. I think he got two assists in the Chester game. I have been quite impressed with him overall. He's played decently. He is potentially going to be a good player. His ability was a little bit higher last time I checked, but it's gone down a bit, I guess. The assistant manager is very inconsistent now. He is a good player. His one downside is he is inconsistent. So he does have these games where he gets two assists in one game. The next game doesn't play very well. But he is, a, he is an exciting player for me. But yeah, disappointing game. After this, I went back to Pulis football. Which saw us through this Alentrinum game. They are a division above us, the National League. However, they are struggling. But this, this performance gives me confidence that if we do get promoted, we do have the solid base of a team who can compete in the higher division. Harry Bunn is back, back again, to our friend. And as you can see on the score sheet this game, 4-2, another two goals from Jack Redshaw, Harry Bunn, Jake Young. Again, we're through in the FA Trophy. Not particularly fussed, but it's great, I guess, for the board. Again, we have Geisley in the next round, which is actually... I think they're in our division, so should be an easier game. In other news, Ollie Dyson unfortunately picked up an injury in training, torn calf muscle, so he's been out for two months. So I was really disappointed with him, actually, because I started... Robbie Tinkler was playing terribly, so I took Tinkler off, and I started to play... I don't know what game it was. There was a game where I took... Was it this game? Yeah, I put Duckworth at right back, played... Ollie Dyson in right midfield. He's going to have his chance in the team. And then after this game, so in the, I think it was yesterday actually in game time, he got injured. Two months. Disappointing. So Robbie Tinkler is going to come back in the team for this episode. But yeah. I did have a choice between the Elfington game and the Brackley game. However, the Brackley game was postponed. So I've decided to bring us the Elfington game for this episode. They're in fifth. I think they're higher in the league than Brackley yet. So this should be the more difficult game. What I am happy about, though, is our game on the 26th got postponed. Theirs didn't, so they should be tired. So hopefully our high intensity should see us through this game. So this is a team that's going to be playing against Alfington. As you can see, back to Pulis football, defensive, all the stuff the fans love. It looks like their relationship is getting a bit worse, which I don't like. Be happy. Be friends again. Overall, pretty good. Almost the best team. I think this is actually my best team. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. The assistant manager thinks I should start playing McGee at left back, which is tempting if Sean Newton does keep playing poorly. I don't like all these red down arrows. Stop it. Get better. But yeah, moving into the game then. Maybe not. Fitness test. Way more exciting, right? Team, da, da, da. Push higher up. Nope. No, because we, we can see goals. I'm not doing it. Leave me alone. Team selection. Done. Here we go. I said here we go. In only 17 more clicks, we will play this football game. Good to goodness, I was really excited about Brad Watkins when he first got here but Jameson played quite well in the FA Trophy Cup which I understand hired on as good as good of a team as the teams that Watkins faced but it's been a while now since Watkins really had a good performance for me so I might maybe try and switch them out a bit we're in blue today oh no well that's that's a great start Pulis football we might <laughs> Might have to change on pure football. I've just got back to it. But we might have to switch again. Maybe it's a blue shirt. Maybe I need to find a blue... A blue... Coat to wear. Come on guys, don't concede two. Don't. Oh. What are we doing? They're, they should be tired. They played two days ago. We should be fresh. What are we doing? 
skipping the goals. I'm not happy. Well, just, what we're we doing? Why are we? Can we start fouling them at the edge of the box? Like, oh Jesus! So yeah, not not the best start. What? We, come on! Are we just punching him in the face every five seconds? Wow, we are getting. Wow. What are we doing? This is out of possession. Stay on feet, guys, because apparently danger of being booked. I'm, I can't believe it's not been booked, if I'm honest. This is horrendous. Wow, I am in shock. Like, I was not expecting this. This is... I did forget to look at the table, but while we're here, we can look at it now. We're now third. Disappointing. We do have a game in hand though, which is my only silver lining right now. Did he just, did he save the ball from going out for a corner and then put it out for a corner and then he delivered it for them? Wow, Brad Watkins. So, early spoiler for next episode, Brad Watkins might not be in goal. That looked like the worst dive I've ever seen. Is that a red card? No? What was that? Okay. Weird highlight, but wow. Wow. What's going on? Dressing room. For the first time, I'm throwing a water bottle. You're all a disgrace. We're definitely making some substitutions. We've got to go on to um, attacking football again. Let's put all this back to what it should. I should really just keep this on whenever it's at the moment, really. You are supposed to be a poacher, right? Yep. Wow. I don't know what to do. Oh, Casper's not in the team, is he? No. I could bring on Gamble. Adebayo. I'll bring on Adebayo for Bun. Bun, you were supposed to come back and, you know, sort the team out. Make us good again. And you've, you've let me down. Damn, I'm, I'm just, I mean, I'm in shock. This is the first time this has happened on this save. And, well, since the Ipswich game, but obviously like, Ipswich, it was understandable against Ipswich. They were, come, they were a lot better than us, but we shouldn't be losing 3-0 against Harfington. I was meaning to say before the game that what's concerning me about the league is there's a chance that we could win 40, 40 of our 40 odd games. If we just. We could win 40 of our 46 games, I think we play, or more than that. I don't know how many games we play. But I, I'm scared that we could win maybe 40 games and still come second. Which is becoming less of a concern if we're going to play like this. That's a free. Well, we've got one goal back. I'm going to put us on attacking because I can't put us on attacking. It's because we're in this. I'm going to have to make a change, I think, again, because I'm wondering how tired the players are now. Jones is playing terribly. I've been on the glass thing for Jones. I suppose. It's unfortunate because obviously we hit the post, we missed that good opportunity. We could have possibly come back into this game. It's just sad being so far down. I'm thinking as well that maybe, no, oh, come on, they just allowed goals again, coming back to haunt me. I'm noticing on corners that Angola doesn't seem to be standing. I think I'm supposed to have Angola and Jones. Was he offside? I want to I wanna watch a replay. I'm going to hurt myself by making me watch it again. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to watch, was it? Where was the offside? Are you just making me watch the game randomly now, rather than actual? Whatever, we'll, we'll go back. Well... This was, well, this is disappointing. Wow. 
So that early momentum that we had is definitely leaving us now. Our XG at the end came back. We had we had the higher XG. So you know what? I'll take the blame for this. I'm not in this in this. I'm going to blame them. That wasn't good enough. You know, I'm going to I'm going to kind of point at them and tell them no, no, not not a jester. You've let me down, guys. Have I got to take the cap off again? Is that what's happening? Uh, yeah, I agree with them. I agree with them. Horizon out. Hashtag it. I'm going to look at the league table before uh, before we go. We might come back for the Brackley game based off what I can remember about the uh, schedule. I looked, I looked at the wrong one. This is the league table. Let's look at it fully. So, like I say, we, well, we were only three points behind. We do have a game in hand, though, so we can get back to being three points behind. But yeah, what what my fear is is that we could we could win a lot of games. We could win, like I say, thirty eight, thirty nine games and still come second, due to just how good Gateshead are. Those two games against Gateshead, Gateshead are going to be important. The downside is if we keep losing against teams like Alfington, it's not going to matter. We need to. I mean, Alfington are a good side, but if we're going to win the league. Then yeah, I don't. I really don't want to go in the playoffs. I'm I'm concerned. That's my concern is winning. Again, the forty games and then playing poorly in one playoff game and and going out. But yeah, Gateshead unbeaten one one 0 win against Farsley. Let's look at next game. When are we coming back? That bracket game is very close. You know what? We'll come back for the all important Gateshead game. Yeah, we'll come back for the Gateshead game. I'm not sure how many rounds are in the um, FA Trophy. Yeah, there's quite a few. So I'm not going to come back for the FA Trophy. Because one, as I've mentioned, don't care. Two, I, I just, guys, it's not an important game. This is the important game. So hopefully, when I come back next time, there's lots of green here. And we are challenging at top of the table again. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. Everybody! He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. Even Gerstein. Oh, when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only up.